Hi, and welcome to this, the first episode in the 28B Viva Insights series. My name is James Harper, and I'm the founder and managing director of 28B. This series has been designed to help brand teams and creative agencies better understand and leverage the tools available to them on the Viva CRM platform. In this first episode, we're going to take a look at Viva approved email and how to use it in the CRM for iPad application, previously known as iRep. Viva approved email, or VAE, enables field teams to send compliant, approved, personalized content via email to their customers and contacts. VAE is an integral part of the Viva ecosystem, so it's easy to use. It works with the other CRM, CLM tools, such as Content of Detail Aids, Viva Engage, and Vault Documents. Most importantly, VAE usage analytics feed back into the CRM system, providing detailed information on send and open rates. And these analytics can be used to motivate field teams, increase usage, enhance sales and customer engagement effectiveness, as well as potentially provide market insights back to the brand or medical team. VAE can be used by infield teams to follow up on a call, share materials, leave pieces, or even the results of budget impact models and other content within the e-detailers. It can be used to invite customers to educational meetings, webinars, or remote detail sessions. At 28B, we see VAE as an essential tool enabling the in-field specialist to link up and fully utilize the suite of multi-channel marketing tools and materials they now have available to them. First off, I'm going to take you through the classic VAE user interface. Then in the next episode in this series, we'll have a look at how VAE can be launched directly from within an e-detail, as well as how you can use the analytics and a My Insights dashboard to inform and enhance a user's effectiveness in the field. So let's jump in and see how all this works. The user selects their target customer from the list, then from the action menu, which is the three dots in the top right, they select send email. As you would expect, Viva offers a highly granular level of control in terms of what email templates and content are available to users, if they can be used together, and with which customer. So only the content appropriate and approved for this customer will be shown in this list. The user can, if they wanted to, filter by product. So let's select the top example here, and then we tap on the gray header bar to display the content. The base of a Viva approved email is called an email template. This usually contains the greetings, sign-off, and generic associated text, as well as the usual corporate logos and disclaimers. In some simple use cases, the template can be the entire email, but in general, the user will have the ability to select smaller elements of content to go into the base template. These are called fragments, and more on that in a minute. As you can see from this template example, you can give the user the ability to personalize through drop-down lists and free text lists. You can blacklist words and terms, as well as mandate field completion. As you can see here, this email cannot be sent until content in the form of fragments has been added. So let's go ahead and do that. Adding fragments is done using the paperclip icon. Any fragment that is associated to this template and that has been approved for use by this user and for distribution to this customer is then shown in a list like this. Once added, the user can then reorder fragments within the template. VAE has an automated referencing system that means even as the fragment order is changed, the references will renumber to match, which is a pretty clever and well thought through touch from Viva there. By tapping the eye icon next to the paperclip, the user will be able to preview the template to look, see how it will be seen by the customer when they receive the email. They can then return to the editor by tapping the pen icon. Okay, so once the user is happy with things and is ready to send this off, all they have to do is slide the icon on the top right all the way across. And there it goes. I think the slide is a nice touch by Viva. It prevents the email being sent by accident. So that's a basic overview of sending a rep-triggered email via the VAE standard interface on the CRM for iPad app, and I hope you found it useful. In the next episode, we'll be taking a look at how VAE can be launched directly from within the detail, as well as how to use analytics and Viva CRM My Insights to inform and enhance sales effectiveness in the field. Cheers for now.